Hey guys, Too Legit City here. Today we're gonna to be going over some Oni basics. We're gonna be going over the Glass Forge. If you guys know what the Glass Forge is, you guys might have messed with this because you guys might want solar panels and the things of that nature. And of course, the Glass Forge is gonna be the easy way to convert your sand into glass. As you can see right here, putting in 100 kilograms of sand converts it into glass on a four to one ratio meaning that you put four times the mass to get only one times of the end product so you lose about 75 percent of it now of course the thing about the glass though is that this glass comes out really hot and huh it doesn't actually tell you the temperature now for the most part glass we'll see right here when it's liquid, that means that it is at least over a thousand degrees. And because of that, we don't really have any use for liquid glass. So we have to solidify it. And in most cases, if you guys run into the issue of your pipes breaking when this happens, I recommend using igneous rock insulated pipelines. And if you guys don't have igneous rock, you have to at least use insulated liquid pipes as insulated liquid pipes have a insulated property for heat transfer, preventing most of the time pipe breakage. And one thing I would recommend is having your pipeline be as short as possible. That means that the longer your pipeline, the more chance of your glass solidifying in the pipelines and thus breaking your pipes in the process. Now, in my case, I have a simple setup. And this is the setup I would recommend. Immediately after the glass forge, I have that straight shot so that it goes out into a vent. And because this is four tall, and the fact that I cannot put a vent on this tile, I had to put that on the right of that. Now, once we make the glass, you could see that it drips, falls down, and we actually have that fall into a tank. This tank of liquid is a little bit of polluted water, and we spilled the water on top to prevent the polluted water from off-gassing. Now, because of that, we're having a liquid mass that we're running in an aqua tuner line of doing. Of course, you don't need to do this most of the time. With enough water here, let's say that you filled up the tank with water, you wouldn't have to worry about your water boiling off. As the amount of glass you're making, 25 kilograms, going into a pool of a couple thousand kilograms of polluted water, you're not going to immediately boil and make steam. So with enough liquid mass, that thermal energy is displaced throughout all the liquids and thus slowly heating up your water. Now, I, I put in the aqua tutor line so that we could consistently chill the water. And by doing so, we can make as much glass as we need to. If you guys have or need to make only a little bit of glass temporarily, making a box, maybe even smaller than this and filling it up with any type of water and as long as it's closer to the solidifying point than the gas state change point having your glass drip into that is the simple solution and for the most part you're not going to need glass for a lot the things like window tile you can use it out of diamond glass specifically a lot of the times it's only if you need to build solar panels as that is specifically needed for that that is going to be how you could use the glass forge simply with a simple design without having headaches of your pipelines breaking. That has been the Oni Bases on the Glass Forge. Hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, guys, leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, guys.